Hi there, Aries, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of December the 12th through to the 18th. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Aries. First up, we have the Three of Wands in the upright. Followed then by the Five of Swords reversed. Next, we have the King of Swords in the upright. Followed then by Major Arcana, the um, Lovers in the upright. And lastly, the Three of Swords reversed. You've got a lot of swords in this reading, Aries. <coughs> there is a potential for a lot of communication this week, as well as a lot of uh, thinking and communication of all kinds from... Uh, text messages to emails to uh, phone conversations. Um, yeah, you could be uh, experiencing a lot of that this week. Because you're progressing, your overall energy as the Three of Wands in the upright position points to a certain progressive element that's going on. I keep seeing this for uh, Aries lately. And that's a good thing, you know, progression is always, moving forward is always uh, welcomed, especially for the ambitious Ram, the Aries, they love to constantly be moving forward and being progressive. And it looks like this week, you might be actually getting a visual, seeing the results of whatever it is you've been looking to change in your life, looking to build towards, you could be seeing a nice uh, progression there. Right at the beginning of the week, we have the Five of Swords in the reverse position, indicating that th there's a conflict that's coming to an end right at the beginning of the week for you, Aries. Now, sometimes the Five of Swords upright can point to inner conflict, where we are conflicted in terms of we're of two minds of something, or heart versus head, and we're just not sure what to do. Maybe if some of you have been experiencing that lately, you could see this week you're coming out of that energy. You're finally, you know, coming to some kind of resolve. Same thing can be said if you have been at odds with others. Five of Swords in the Upright can point to that um, battle, the unethical battle that could be going on around you. Now this could be playing out in your home, in your relationship, your neighborhood, your workplace, what have you. There could... You you could have been at odds with others around you. But this week, again, you might see this coming to an end. It does look like there will be a reach, uh, a truce. Basically, the battle has ended. And it could be due to this uh, next energy here, the King of Swords in the upright position. It is a court card. could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this is air, energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Now, the King of Swords, if it's someone exterior to you, Aries, could be representative of someone who uh, likes to, you know, sort of get to the meat of things. This is a person who likes to deal with the intellectual, the analytical, the logic of things instead of uh, bringing emotions to settle a matter. Sometimes the King of Swords can represent a lawyer or an arbitrator. Um, could be even someone in the military as well as uh, uh, someone who represents the law, such as police officers, things like that. Can also, um, yeah, represent a surgeon. Maybe some of you have had some health issues that, you know, need to be resolved uh, via surgery or something like that. And it could be that, you know, this person comes in and sort of just gives you the facts on things. But this could be said about anything. If this is someone in your personal life, this could be just representing straight talk to you. Maybe somebody is, or you could be embodying the energies of the King of Swords and just interested in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, which is what the King of Swords is interested in. Facts only, please. <laughs> Moving on towards the weekend, we have some Gemini energy here. The lovers in the upright position, which points to a choice or a decision, a monumental decision. It could be based on what this person has to say or a clarifying conversation for you, Aries. This is um, now it puts you in a position of some kind of dilemma or a position of having to choose or make a decision about something. Now, it could be about a legal matter, could be about a health matter, financial, a personal matter. You know, again, these are just general reads, so just take what makes sense to you. But there is a choice or a decision coming up, and yes, it can be about love, the lovers, but not exclusively about love. Sometimes the lovers can represent moving forward with a relationship. Say, for example, you just started dating someone and they're 
you see how analytical they really are and maybe now it's like do I really want to be with them do I really or after a straight conversation it could be like oh do I want to take this relationship to the next level do I want to back off to there's a lot of choices when it comes to love and relationships and because we have free will we're free to make those so for some of you, this is definitely about love and relationships. For others of you, it could be about making a decision between uh, two business partners or two companies that are both offering you something equal. And uh, it's just a decision that you need to make. And I think this decision will help to set you free with the Three of Swords here being your last card in the reverse position, indicating that um, there is a level of hurt feelings, uh, a sense of loss, disappointment, sorrow, that kind of thing, perhaps has happened to you recently, Aries, but with the Three of Swords in the reverse, this is where we're beginning to heal. Now, it could be due to an arbitration or a clarifying conversation. I'm not sure it's gonna be different for all of you. Uh, what exactly is going on here, but the Three of Swords in Reverse does indicate a level of healing from a situation that caused great disappointment, sorrow, or loss. Now, it can also point back to the Two of Swords in the upright position, which leads us to some type of decision again, right? The Two of Swords upright is, what do I do? So I hate to leave you with a cliffhanger because your last two cards indicate there will be a decision to be made by you, uh, Aries. And remember, this is a key note, I feel, in this reading, the Three of Wands. You need that one extra wand to complete something. So if you have to make a decision, I would make the decision based on whatever it is you need to complete what you've already been working on. So you don't want to take a step back. You want to stay, tape a, take a step forward or a, a step in the right direction. It's going to lead you to wherever it is you are going, whatever uh, progress you've made thus far. You want to expand on that. So that's what I have for you. I hope you have a fantastic week. Don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below if this reading uh, is resonating for you. And do tell us how so. So I hope you have a wonderful week. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. And I also hope that this reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you again next week. Take care. Bye-bye for now.